Actually, there's a, a challenge too mm -hmm. with the with Zinchenko. Mm -hmm. If we play with Zinchenko and then they start someone like Almiron, <laughs> Almiron has been so good this season. Yeah, and that yeah. is a problem, you know. Yeah. Zinchenko nutmegs. I even saw a video. They were walking in London. Mm -hmm. Some kid nutmegged Zinchenko, you know. Newcastle versus Arsenal, versus Arsenal rather. Yeah. A very tricky game at St. James Park. St. James Park. Tomorrow at 6.30, Kenyan time. Uh, game yeah. week 34. Yeah, game week 34. What's All your right. take on uh, the upcoming fixture? Oh, man. Well, it's an interesting game that I'm looking forward to, you know, uh, watching. But uh, it's definitely going to be a very, very tough game because uh, Newcastle, I mean, they've been, all, they've, been, they've been on a run, man. They've been beating teams at the left, right and center, except from the Villa game that they lost 3-0. But uh, they've, been, they've, been, they've, been, they've been on form. Uh, so it's going to be a very, very tough game. I'm a bit worried about uh, those, the, the, you know, that's one of what, the, that is just one of the games that you're, you know, you can say that you're definitely going to concede owing to the fact that, you know, we, our defense right now is actually open. I mean, the back lines right now. Yeah, we have uh, injury worries. We have injury worries. And uh, the thing is this. Actually, before we jump the gun to, you know, the squad the squad uh, prediction, we are a bit worried about, you know, Gabriel. Because, you know, the Chelsea game, he came off with an hamstring injury. It was an, actually, it was an ankle injury. An ankle injury? Yes. All right. So, we're not really sure if he's going to be available. So, Saliba out, Gabriel out. It's going to be it's going to, it's going to be tough it's going to be a very 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 tough game so in, in terms of conceding you know those are one of the, those are, those are one of the games that you probably could say <laughs> they're, they're going to you know they're going to score yeah newcastle they have been having a good game of uh for good form mm -hmm. you know they beat tottenham they beat manu mm -hmm. they beat west ham you know the only game they have lost so far is the aston villa game and yeah. i think uh, if you watch the aston villa game mm -hmm. Emery had a very good strategy versus uh, Newcastle, mm -hmm. but then now we are going to their home, you know, a good team, basically, physically, they are as physical as ever, but then, right. uh, but then now they have even better players. Yeah, they have even better players. Man, he sacked the last game, he sacked the last game he played against, uh, which, which, which team did he play against? Ham. Was it West Ham? Not Southampton? Just Southampton. Yeah, Southampton, Southampton, yeah, yeah. actually it was Southampton. Man, the gay is on another level right now. But now, looking at the positives right now, in terms of our defense, yes, we're poor, but in terms of our attack, we're actually very good. So that's what we need to capitalize on. This is one of those, because looking at it, when these guys came to the Emirates, they played a lot of defensive game. It was defense the whole time. We actually didn't penetrate by there. We're not even able to score. But then looking at this game, I'm sure they'll probably you know, want to win and they'll change their strategy and they could definitely fall into our hands. Mm -hmm. They could fall into our hands because I'm sure they'll also want to score as well. So we need to capitalize on that and try and get as many scores as possible because in terms of attack that's what our, that's what our strength is jesus saka martinelli trossard that's what that's 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 what that's what our strength is and you know that's one of the things that you need to capitalize on because as is right now defense wise defense wise they're so 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 poor yes yeah uh gabriel is feared to miss but then uh again yesterday yesterday Michel Ateta confirmed that today will be the day they'll confirm if they'll he confirm can play. His, yeah. You know, with that, uh, if let's say Gabriel is fit for tomorrow's game, mm -hmm. do you expect Kiwi or or, uh, or uh, holding. holding to play? Um, All right, along beside him. That's uh, for me. I'll actually go with the uh, QR. Is it QR or QVR? QVR. QVR. Yeah. I think I'll go with QVR. But then think of it from this perspective. Experience-wise, holding is more experience. But tactic-wise, tactically, yeah, tactically was impressive. Was in impressive. The Chelsea game. But then you know it, it's 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 a mix because uh, first of all, Kivior by the you know he's new in the Premier League, all right. And man, going to new, going to St James Park, man, they it's against a very physical a team. very physical team. And, you know the fans over there are so intimidating. So you know. <laughs> Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm not really, I'm not really, I mean, more of like a dilemma who I'd go with. So I, I man, it's, it's difficult. It's yeah, difficult personally, I also think, you know, Kivuyor is good tactically mm -hmm. and technically. Mm -hmm. But then uh, going to this Newcastle game, you know, if he's put against Isaac or 
against Carl, Carl, Carl Wins, Wilson at the center forward, you know, those and then, are and then, physical and then, people. You're forgetting one more person. Mm -hmm. The fans. Yeah, the fans. The fans. <laughs> yeah, before you even go to the environment yeah. at St. James Park, mm -hmm. you know, this Newcastle team is very strong. Those guys bully people from the midfield. Yeah. You know, they have a good midfield of Joe Linton, Willock, mm -hmm. and uh, Bruno, mm -hmm. Bruno G. And uh, personally, I think Jorginho coming in, I think we, we it's better we retain uh, our our squad versus Chelsea mm -hmm. with them. We start with the Trossard up front, mm -hmm. and then uh, you know because Trossard is good with the is comfortable with the ball on his feet, mm -hmm. and he's comfortable with the with this with this dribbling, and then you know he's a short guy, so it's not easy to bully, mm -hmm. and then he has the experience. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I think this is a team. You know, this is one of those games that you know we need to play experience. Uh, that's what I'm saying. I mean, I mean, more of like a dilemma whether to start QVR or holding. Because, mm -hmm. man, like I said earlier on, going to, James, going to St. James Park is never easy. Like you say, you know, the, the, the team is a bully. They, you know, the, the team players are a bully. The fans themselves are a bully. So, I think we'd retain the score that he played with. Uh, but then, Apokwa QVR now holding. Is yeah, really there's also even actually there's a, a challenge too mm -hmm. with the with Zinchenko. Mm -hmm. If we play with Zinchenko and then they start someone like Almiron, <laughs> Almiron has been so good this season. Yeah, and that yeah. is a problem, you know. Yeah. Zinchenko nutmegs. I even saw a video they were walking in London. Mm -hmm. Some kid nutmegged Zinchenko. You know, Zinchenko defensive wise is poor, but then you know attacking wise he's been great for he's us. Been he's very been great, that yeah. pivot. He's mm -hmm. been pivotal to our team right but then when it comes to defensive work again there's someone like almiron and murphy 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 scored has scored like four goals in the mm -hmm. in the last three fixtures mm -hmm. he's been a, a bit in form mm -hmm. you know he's been able to capitalize you sleep he's there for the rebound yeah for the for the far post yeah for the far post crosses he's always been there mm -hmm. yeah so what do you expect zinchenko or tiani this is still a conversation for such a game kt i'll go with kt uh reason being defensive voice like you know this this is one of those games that uh, we need to try and capitalize much on uh defensive players that we have at the moment because right now my defense is dead especially if gabriel is out tell me if gabriel is out by the way would you rather have kt or did kt or uh, what's his name Zinchenko. Or Zinchenko, yeah. Would you rather? Hi, 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 hi. So, would you rather? Who, who, hi, hi. Who would you rather start? I'll start KT. I'll definitely start KT because we need as much defensive players and we need as much much attack players as possible. So, for me, I'll go with KT. Okay, Rich. So, tell me, what's your score prediction by the way for the for the for the Newcastle game? Uh, for the Newcastle game, mm -hmm. I starting with the Bucks. Yeah, I'll almost believe. Atete um, is most likely going to retain the squad mm -hmm. uh, that played versus Chelsea. So I think uh, from our right back, as usual, Ben White is going to play. Mm -hmm. Then uh, our centre backs is going to be Gabriel. Mm -hmm. If he's fit, it's Gabriel and Kuvior. Mm -hmm. That Kuvior part, I'm not so sure because he might analyse the physicality of the game and uh, start someone like holding. Holding, yeah. But then I think personally, I'd go for Kuvior. Mm -hmm. And then in the left back, Zinchenko. I'd prefer Tierney to start, but then I think he's going to go with Zinchenko. Uh -huh. And then in the middle of the pack, uh, Jorginho played a good game versus Chelsea. Mm -hmm. And in such a game of physicality, Pate would have been good, but I think he's carrying an injury. Yeah, he might be he might be carrying an injury. So mm -hmm. I think uh, Jorginho is going to play the middle of the pack. Mm -hmm. uh, besides him will be Xhaka mm -hmm. as the number eight. And then uh, Odegaard will be the attacking mid. And then front three, I'd go with uh, Trossard, then Jesus at the center, and then Saka at the right wing. Mm. Yeah. So, uh, well, tell me, wh wh why would you go for Saka? Because, like, I remember off the camera, we've been talking about Saka. I mean, uh, he's been, be I mean, the guy is tired, man. Yeah. The boy is tired, I think man. He's, he's been fatigued. playing. He's, yeah. he's, he's been playing. You can imagine all the Premier League games he's been playing. Rock was playing. The mid, the mid, uh, the, 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 international breaks he was, he was there he played there. all the games yeah so man the guys uh, for me uh where Saka plays i think i'll start with Bruce nelson because i mean for the last for the last like five games mm -hmm. man he's he's been tired he's been tired man so yeah, i think that's we need, very true we, we need, need we new need, fit yeah and energy we need new energy in 
Yeah. So tell me for your score predictions. I mean, what, what do you think? What, what, what are you looking at? What are the scores? What, what? <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a game. Uh, this game is a tricky one because going to St. James Park, it's like if you score them, they will have to score back. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I won't think it. I don't think it will be that kind of one nil game, one one game, mm -hmm. two one game. I think it will be a, a game full of goals. Mm -hmm. I think uh, if we play, if our defense becomes poor, we can go like a four two game, three two score. Mm -hmm. It's going to definitely have more than three goals. Yeah. So my final prediction will be three two, three two Arsenal. Three two there yeah. to the Arsenal. Arsenal is going to win the game by three goals. For me, I'll give it uh, a four two. To the Arsenal. Reason being is like uh, attack was actually in terms of attack, man, we're doing so well right now, so definitely we expect scores. Uh, but I expect us to also consider as well because defensive wise we're actually poor. So I'll go for 4 2. Yeah, yeah. So, man, those are our thoughts for the game. If you're new here, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and we'll be seeing you for the uh, game Newcastle Arsenal game tomorrow mm -hmm. at 6 30 Kenyan time.